There's tarps and you can see people moving and it's just me and my dog and it just it, it's scary. So. Jerry Newland stays at the Cal Expo Center RV park every time she and her family drive through Sacramento. But taking a walk along the river is a concern. It is kind of scary that you know, it'd be nice to have feel really comfortable going through there. Councilman Jeff Harris wants to build a 100 bed triage shelter here. Now, the Cal Expo Board of Directors will vote on whether it'll lease the land to the city, something Harris says they've been considering for several years. So this is nothing new. It's just that our need is very urgent at this point and we're closing in on the final deal. It'll cost $9.4 million to build and run the shelter for two years. Those costs include things like staffing, maintenance, and helping people at the shelter get into permanent homes. Additionally, we're allocating funds to the police to do extra patrols and to, to work with businesses and um, the area locally. You can see trash, things like that shopping cart litter the area not far from where the shelter could be built. One of the goals of the shelter is to clean up spots like this and connect people to the resources they need. We're applying services. We're working on physical, mental, legal, monetary issues for the, for the folks and providing food as well. But not everyone is sold on the idea. I guess my initial reaction is probably pretty bad that I thought, oh, I last thing I want to come on a nice walk like this is people, you know, hit me up for some money or whatever. Dean Comfort is visiting Sacramento for work. He's staying at a nearby hotel. He says he understands the need to build more shelters. Once I have a chance to think about it, it's like, well, you know, I guess this is as good a place as any. Emily Maha, KCRA 3 News.